But dude, the lobbies at this point are broken. She has the most depressing voice lines ever. Oh, like, help me. <laughs> dude, what? You are the worst protector. F-13 Resurrection. You may wonder what that is. We'll tell you. That way, I, I believe... Uh, all right, welcome back to Friday Night Gaming. You're here with uh, Dan and Darren, also known as... Twin? Uh, a guy. Uh, brothers? Uh, I was putting you on the spot to see what you could come up with. I have no idea. <laughs> we'll go with the Terror Twins. I don't like that. No. Restart? Yeah, terrible. All right, welcome back to Fright Night Gaming. You're here with Dan and Darren. Darren? Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Ma Mahalo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, what's up, everybody? We got a lot to talk about. I'm going to hit you with the rundown right out the gate because I usually mess this up. Yeah, we're going to try to do it right this time. Yep. We're going to go over F-13 Resurrection. You may wonder what that is. We'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go over the best and the worst parts of the new TCM update. We're going over patch notes because there's going to be a patch coming in because the there's a lot of issues. We'll talk about it. We're going to go over what you can expect in TCM in the in those patch notes and the future of TCM. Ooh. Because there were some promises made. Uh, but they've, they've come in full force and have been uh, helping us create uh, all new outfits for everyone in the game. New, new goodies for, for both sides again in the next 90 days or less. And you probably forgot him, but this guy didn't. Nope, I took some notes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be going over that. And uh, that's I think that's the majority. So most of it's going to be on TCM, the new mill, Virginia. We're going to talk a lot about that. That's all in, sprinkled in. But uh, also, dude, F-13. Dude, I, I was surprised. I thought the game was gone. And I mean, who are these saints that are making this game? I know. I don't. If you guys are happen to watch our stuff, let us know because I want to be very supportive of what these guys are doing. Bless your souls. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> yes. So we're in. We we're gonna go deep on that because it's kind of confusing. On like, well, I'll save it for when we get into it. See, I'm doing it again. Well, it's okay. We can do a little chit chat. Yeah, a little <laughs> chit chat. All right. So I uh, want to give a shout out. We have two, not one, two new members. So we have David C. I'm not gonna say your last name. Just in case. Uh, and Jason S. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So welcome. And again, if you are a member, join the Discord. And if you want to become a member, we have all the things listed of the stuff you get early access, all kinds of stuff. But Discord is a big one. And we want people to join the Discord. Why? Private matches. Because we all know lobbies can be a little bit of a headache sometimes. Yeah. So we want to get enough people. And truth be told, we can't play like all the time in there because we're busy doing a lot of this stuff. We try to get in there at least once or twice a month, try to get games in. That's the goal. That's the goal. Uh, but it would be awesome if we had enough people in there that you guys could just do your own custom matches and play in there with cool people. Absolutely. Yep. So anyways, if you want, check it out. All right. So let's get into some news and announcements. So first, we're going to start with the game. We're probably the... Oh man, I would say second. It's it's almost moved to second with me with F third now. Killer Clown's the number one I'm excited about right now. Well, yeah, of course it's it's new. Well, I was gonna say that, new. That, it's like pre new. The F thirteen <laughs> thing makes me excited. The hunting grounds kind of makes me excited, but I'm very skeptical of that one. I did actually download that today, by the way. Oh, you can download Predator. Yeah, I bought it on Steam, and I actually bought the game, which is ridiculous. It's still like I think thirty bucks. Oh, but I bought it. And because uh, we're talking about it, like, I'm like, I haven't played this since it launched. So I got to get in there and check it out. Did you play it? Not yet. Next pod. <laughs> Next pod. So uh, let's start with some killer clowns. As usual, these guys are always on the tw on the Twitter. God. I, I never can say that without sounding like super dated, you know? Yeah. How do you say that? They're tweeting? But it's not even Twitter. It's X. They're Xing. Yeah, but who says X? No one says that. No one. X is lame. Dude, I do say I do gotta say, like, I love what they do on Twitter. Cause even though the game's a little ways out, they've been posting stuff for a while now. Oh yeah. they they stay active and they respond and stuff to people. And their posts are funny. So Yeah, and we're on Twitter too, but I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm gonna delete it because I really don't want to update Twitter, nor do I want to interact with a lot of like random like stuff that goes on in Twitter. Yeah. Two posts to talk about. We have Bibbo joins the clown invasion when you pre-order the digital deluxe. So yet again, they're throwing in some more stuff. Dude, they're giving you everything to pre-order. I mean, because you get to play a week early too, right? Well, I don't know. But yeah, yeah, the pre-order, but this is for the deluxe. This is the, the second level. 
Oh, I didn't even know there was different levels. Well, yeah, I think there's a pre-order, then there's the deluxe. Oh, you're edition. right, where you get all the extra skins. I understand why you wouldn't and un- you wouldn't get it because we went straight to deluxe and didn't even hesitate. Dude, no hesitation at all. You get so much free stuff. Yeah. We're not sponsored by them. <laughs> we're, in fact, we're not sponsored by anybody except members. Yeah, <laughs> except for you. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, dude, they're like, hey, ASIM fans, you guys are tired of games with no content? Check this out. Boom. Yeah, we have a ton of content and we haven't even released the game. Hold my cotton candy. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so there's that. Then we got a little video here titled, What Are Those? I got one question for you. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> so we got some, uh, I, I mean, some drip going on on the clown shoe. My favorite part is when the clown just walks away almost like sad. Yeah, he's like, yep, I got caught. I don't know. That that looked kind of funny, the way the clown walked. I told you, it had like personality to it. Yeah, some swag going on. So, yet again, just another reason to be excited for the launch of the Killer Clowns. Yeah, it's going to be great. So, we got some little, little bit of housekeeping stuff to go over and some uh, new stuff that has done nothing but make me question more what is going on in the TCM lore. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, honestly, this there's one thing that everyone argues about nonstop, and I've seen such conflicting information, and that is Maria Flores. Dude, isn't it weird? Isn't it weird? Okay, so let, let's go. What we know, we read the lore in one of our past podcasts. It says she's dead. What they don't know is that Maria has crossed paths with the Slaughterhouse family, and is not actually missing at all. She's dead. Explicitly, yes. she's dead. Yep. She's with the fishes, swimming with the fishes. Right. So then I went back on the last community uh, video with Matt and Wes, Uh and they talked about it, and they said, the question was asked, what happened to Maria? And they said, if you want to know what happened, watch Petals. I saw here, what happened to Maria? And that's a good opportunity for me to say, PetalsGame.com. Some interesting Uh um, interesting lore in that. What happened in Petals? She died, or Play Petals. I think it was a game, right? Yeah, we've never even played it. See, and that was controversial too. Okay, so I'll let you finish. So they said to watch that. It's good. And then um, Wes said to watch, uh, sorry. Wes said to play that. And then and he said, oh my gosh, I'm deep. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell. I could tell it was one of those things. You didn't have it, but yeah. you kept trying to go. And I'm like, he's not going to make it far. Because I keep he's- saying, I keep saying watch, but it's a game. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Wes said to play pedals and in pedals, he said there's interesting lore in that, which and so what happened in pedals? Maria died. Apparently. Okay. So it's pretty clear. She's dead. No. Cause then everyone else starts speculating about her. And there's a lot of big group of people who think she's going to come into the game and then leaks dropped. And Hey, I don't pay attention to leaks, but the Apparently leaks you do. I, 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 yeah, you're right. I see them, but I don't like actively look for them. If they pop up on my screen, I'm like, okay, let's see what, you know, what this is about. But in the leaks, apparently people are saying now, again, it's a leak that Maria is coming back as a character. And like, what the F is going on? I I may have caused some of these leaks. I feel (laughs) like I've talked a lot about that. (laughs) I don't know. I don't know what's going on because it's like they're telling you she's dead. Okay, so what we know in the Lord says she's dead. I don't feel like they've just come out and said she's dead, though. No, they haven't. Which to me is odd that they don't just say it. But you're right. They reference pedals, but pedals is a fan made thing, right? And he also said when Wes said it's interesting lore. Interesting is a weird word for that. I would love to see. Oh, there's some there's opportunities with Maria. We won't get too deep into like some things we'd like to see because we've we went pretty deep like on that mill map and what we thought was going to be in it. I mean, the fact that we we didn't have a buzzsaw execution oh dude we needed saws i mean guys you gotta put saws in the mill we gotta we gotta talk about that when we get to that other section but yeah anyway so where are we at now we still don't know i know and i see people in the comments i've watched some of their videos that some creators have made and they're like fully speculating that she's alive yeah dude i don't get it and maybe she is i have no clue and, and yeah i'm sure you guys in the comments go ahead and let us know argue it out in the comments below and I'll filter through and see what sounds the most reasonable. Cause I go back and forth where I'm like, oh, so I read a comment and I'm like, oh, she's totally alive. Then after that guy, and then another one will be like, oh no, she's com- she's dead. I, it's obvious. I would say <laughs> I've heard very compelling arguments that she's alive, but again, I just I just go back to what I read and what they've said, but they haven't been explicitly they haven't said it, which is oh, that's you, a red flag. They haven't may- explicitly said it. It's in the lore. 
but they haven't said it. You missed a great opportunity for just a banger of a bar. Red said dead. You could have. You know, oh, anyways, man. Yeah. Sorry. But I can cut it in. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not oh, doing that's it. like you should freestyle it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for Maria again. Leave comments. Let us know what you guys think. Quick talk about some gameplay. So we ran some matches yesterday just to get some videos out. You guys pay attention because they'll be coming soon. So we ran into uh, someone who watched our video. I believe it was Vector. So shout out to Vector. Uh, hopefully subscribed. Yeah, Hopefully. it's crazy being recognized in a game to me. Yeah. It still blows my mind. <laughs> We're talking about on our end, people, yeah, that we play and once in a while we'll get messages and we appreciate them. Yeah, it's awesome. So anyways, we read into him and I got to be honest, the game was so ridiculous. We died, I don't know, by what, like a minute into the match? It was, well, that was the, oh God. Yeah. I don't, don't want to say what happened in For, that match. I, I'll say, I'll give you guys a teaser. Again, the video is coming out, so pay attention or uh, look out for it. For those of you who've watched our previous videos, you may have seen a pattern with uh, this guy here that he'll tell me he's going to protect and we're going to work together. He'll be Leland and be like, okay, I got your back. I got your back. No problem. Well, I was playing Virginia family house. I'm like, let's rush. So we make it out the basement and they're waiting for us at the top of the stairs. Yeah. So we, I rush past them. I throw a boon. I throw a blind. And I'm right behind Dan. I got his back. He, yeah. So he says, I get to the door. I start working on the lock. And I'm like, they're like, I'm getting the aura, the family aura. And I believe you said you're there. Can you protect me at all? Oh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I said I, and I was there. That it was true. So I'm with Virginia. I'm rocking some fast hands. So I'm getting through these locks and I have a high proficiency too. Well, what happens? All of a sudden, I get a good old stick from Cook in the back. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, where are you? I thought you were here. Uh, Yeah. So what happened, guys, is you were on, what is that door there? Is it sitting room door? I think it's sitting room. So he's unlocking the door. I come in. Well, I turn right. I can't remember what my purpose was. I think I, was, I don't know why I turned right. I'll tell you what it was to kill your teammate. Oh, no. You know what it was? I think I was trying to shut the door. I think I was trying to shut the door. I turn right. I hit the button to shut the door. And I accidentally went in the closet. <laughs> and so he's unlocking the door. The killer's right behind me. I go in the closet. This guy gets, get, you know, he gets I got taken like, out. I got like triple teamed at that point and was gone with a quickness. I came back. I did come back. And I don't even know what happened. I think I just died. Yeah. So Victor. <laughs> oh, no. No, wait. You know what happened? Or Victor. I, I, I came back. I think I, I might have barged him or stabbed him. Who knows what. Then I'm running and I run straight into a trap and get killed. It was a disaster, a complete disaster. And not only was that a disaster, that gameplay session, and we'll put it up for the members, it was probably the worst we played in a fun way. <laughs> yeah, so there's a couple of factors that went in. One, we hadn't played in a while. Like, I've been, I've been gone to work for a few days, and we just hadn't played. So it always takes me, like, a day to get back into, like, I'll call it TCM shape. To where I'm comfortable, you know, and we're not even that great as victims. Probably never will be. I don't even want to be that good. I just want to have fun. And I do. I yeah. do. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I most of the time have fun. Sometimes there is some frustration at times. I can hear it in your voice when we play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show it right now. Dude, What? you are the worst protector. But uh, no, they were rough. Some rough <laughs> matches, dude. And we did run into this leather face that was uh, uh, out of control. Dude, uh, arguably the one of the best leather faces we've run into. There was three options with this guy, and I don't say this much. Either he was doing some suspect stuff. We'll put that as the last. I don't like to put that on people, but there was some. It was interesting. He are he was the greatest TCM player alive, or the luckiest TCM player alive, or maybe a mixture of like very good and got very lucky. Because there was a time <laughs> when he was coming up the stairs. Dan was coming up the stairs. I was outside. I was, I was, I had already made it up. I forget whatever that room is with the grass and on the mill. And well, don't worry. It's right up here. And, uh, Leatherface ran straight down the stairs as he's coming up. And right when I tried to warn you, it was too late. Yeah. And it wasn't, we had opened that door like earlier. And the only thing I can think of is I did make noise on a toolbox for him to see that and know where I'm coming out. He just either, like I said, is really good at the game, which is possible. But the timing on it was so perfect that I ran out and just got demolished. There also is some gameplay of me and the three of my teammates get stuck in a room. <laughs> it did not go well. <laughs> there was three of you in the room? There was three of us. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, two guys got taken out quick. Well, Johnny was at the door and Leatherface came and uh, 
Well, we'll just wait for that video. Don't worry. I already put it up too. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But even that leather face, the way he killed me when I, I went, I passed out in the bushes and he went right to me and took me out. And then, you know, there's, it was just crazy. It was crazy. The sequences that we died in that game. Yeah. And that's kind of was like the story that and waiting for lobbies, Dude, which I, we'll get into later. Yeah. Let's not even touch that yet. So one other thing to clean up, you got tricked. Oh yeah. Ma <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maverick. I remember uh, last game, uh, last podcast, I said I got stun locked in, or I said he got stun locked in the custom game we were playing. Well, Mav came out and admitted he was messing with me. He wasn't actually stun locked. <laughs> Trickery. Got me good. Trickery. <laughs> so the stun lock thing with Leland is apparently fixed. Yes. On to the big news. Friday the 13th. You may thought it's dead. Gone. In fact, you would be correct because you can't even download it. It's gone. It is dead and gone. That is all true. But there's a passionate group unnamed faces out there doing the Lord's work <laughs> and they're bringing it back to life. Dude talk about just a great surprise i hadn't heard anything about this i was totally checked out on f13 loved the game just thought it was like you said dead no back in full force you know what's funny like we played it and we loved it but like we just i don't know we kind of just assumed it was like a dying game not knowing like the politics going on behind the scenes so uh i i did a little uh research today to figure out like what really went down with this game Oh, cool. Because a lot of people, a lot of people, you guys, most of you guys know already, a lot of these guys are smart in the comments, you know, smart guys. <laughs> so, of well, course, only the smartest ones definitely subscribe, and the brilliant ones are members, just saying. Genius. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing about this game. I didn't even realize F13 still has such a big fan base. Because oh. when we played, this was years ago, so a long time. Life has changed quite a bit since then for I us. I know. And it's like, I just thought the game was gone. No one was even playing, but people have been playing it still. Oh, yeah. 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 They're doing peer to peer servers. Yeah. It's crazy. I know. It's, it's awesome. I mean, that just shows you the game was so different, unique, and just fun. So, a little bit about the history. So, Friday the 13th, if you don't know, it's obviously based on the movie. There's Jason, and you go against seven counselors or victims, right? Right. So, that's just the overview. I think it, the maps are Crystal Lake the first ones i, I can't remember Higgins something Anyways. i mean for sure crystal lake yeah so it was originally released in 2017 which is just for the ps4 and xbox one that's crazy how long ago that was i know isn't it funny like i it seems like it wasn't that long ago but it really was a while so some things that happened so ilphonic was the developer gun was the publisher in june of 2018 gun announced okay so it's released in 2017 in may by june of 2018 gun announced no more dlc no more updates <laughs> <laughs> so what happened is uh I guess there somebody else owned the rights, Victor something, Victor Miller, and there's some other studio with him, the movie, I guess, studio. They own the rights, and I don't know how this got so jammed up, but it basically put Gunn in a horrible spot. Like they had, they lost a lawsuit to this guy. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Like, did they not buy the rights to the game? I don't know how it works exactly. You think they, I mean, obviously with TCM, they have a great relationship. So they figured out whatever. That way, I, I believe. I believe <laughs> <laughs> oh my god he's had a stroke <laughs> oh, i had like eight words in my mouth at once i believe <laughs> it exploded that was like alien <laughs> what, what the hell man <laughs> anyways what i i the way i i not say this thing. okay so the way i look at f13 with gun it was that was like a learning lesson you know what i mean and they knocked it out of the park with the the relationships in TCM. So anyways, the, so the game <laughs> by June 8 of 2018, no more updates. On September 25th of 2018, Black Tower takes over from Gun, so they transfer. Okay. And I have to imagine it has to do because three days later, that's when the lawsuit is uh, decided in that Victor in the Studio One, Gun loses the lawsuit. I don't know how that works with a publisher and everything, because obviously the game's still out there. It's just not official. Yeah, it's interesting because I would have expected them to have to shut the game down, but apparently you can well, still play it for a while. There's just no updates to it as far as cosmetics. I think it took a while because the servers got shut down in November of 2020. Okay. So, and I don't know how all that worked out, but basically the, you can see how the game got tanked, right? Right. 
So 2020 game shut down. 2023, it got delisted. So you can't even download it. Right. Like okay. I went to go download it. It's not there. You know what? One side note real quick. Could you imagine if the game hadn't got tanked and they were able to keep developing it? Where it would be at now? Oh, dude, I think it'd still be a contender. It'd be like DVD-ish, like a contender. Could be bigger. I think it should be bigger. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. So now we mentioned it earlier, but they're just the only people playing. It's a peer-to-peer thing. So I don't even know if there's like disc. I'm sure there's like discords and stuff set up where guys go in and play. Now we have the resurrection. Oh, what's that, Daniel? (laughs) (laughs) So in order to understand the resurrection, I'm going to do something easy and go to their frequently asked questions. So I'm going to go over some. So resurrection, it's basically a group of people. I don't know who they are. Uh, Let us know in the comments if you want. We'll shout you out. They're putting, they're developing it and making this their own game or it's the same game, but it's not official. Well, it's, and, it's they're fan re- made. and they're releasing more content now. There's going to be skins. There's going to be, I imagine, working on bugs and stuff like, you know, d- improving the gameplay, right? Yeah. So that's some of the questions. Will there be uh, any post-launch updates? Because, I mean, that's a valid question, right? Like, cool, you're launching this fan made update, but is there any more to it? Because, I mean, how much do you want to invest? It's free, by the way. It's free. So they are, they are going to have update. They already have talked about some of the DLC. I'll go over here in a second. Like I said, it's not official. It's just a fan made game that they're doing and i guess they're going to run the servers and everything i don't understand how this even works with the ip when do you think they wouldn't even be able to do it i think it's because it's not official so they probably can't i don't know there's probably something like logos and stuff they just can't use stuff oh, but i okay. don't know you got a guy that is jason i maybe is it though <laughs> <laughs> i don't know so some of the stuff that they've announced uh i'm just going to go through it to let you guys know what to expect here so there's apparently uh, Gun Media made had a bunch of maps and skins that they had ready to go, but when all this went down, they couldn't use it anymore. Dude, how bad would that suck? Spending all that time and money and effort into making that these cool items for people to use, and you can't even release it. Well, it's not even just that. It's like the think about the excitement they had. This game was good. It had, I mean, it has like a cult following to it. And there's like a ton of potential to develop this and, you know, start releasing DLC, make some money for the studio, all that ripped away. <laughs> Dude, that's uh, so brutal. Well, yeah, yeah. They're I, doing all right with TCM. All right, guys. Chill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So apparently all this stuff that they developed, these this fan made group has access to it, it sounds like. And yeah. they're going to be putting it out. Gun must have just given it to him and said, hey, have fun. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So it'd be interesting to know kind of the behind the scenes of that. But yeah. So there's skins, characters. They mentioned like there's a bunch of Jasons they're going to be doing. It's free to play. They're not charging anything for this. So when this launches, you'll be able to just jump on. Fog weather on the Grindle map. New prom clothing pre-Uber Jason. So that's just some of the stuff that they're already talking about. It's going to be, I guess, with the release. Okay. They don't have a release date. But they do have a release announcement date, <laughs> and that is uh, April 15th. Yeah, shoot. So here in a week or two? Yeah, so April 15th, they're going to announce it. And hey, I say give them all the support they can get because for people to go out and do this, one, I don't even understand the amount of work it takes, but the dedication. And honestly, it's like I trust more in people like this doing updates and taking control of a game than a studio because it's like... This is straight, like, the hardcore fans. Well, yeah, it's like passion. Like, they clearly like it. They're not doing it for money. They're doing it because they love the game. For the love of the game. I'm all about that, man. Yep. (laughs) So, props to you guys. Again, let us know who you are. We'll shout you out. And now, it's time. We talk about the best and the worst with a brand new TCM update. With the update, we got the mill map. We got Virginia. We got a ton of bugs. And we got lobbies destroyed. I mean, I don't want to be so negative because it it was a lot of, it is a lot of fun. I still enjoy it, but there were a lot of problems. Let's get into the good, then we'll get into the bad. And we try to stay like not too negative, but I do think there's like problems that need to be addressed. The top three best parts of the update, we're going to start with number three. And this is kind of a broad point, but the fact that at least we're getting some DLC, (laughs) we're getting a new map, a new character, 
just anything new to the game, I like. So I just put that at three. Just the fact that there is an update. <laughs> That's an interesting three. <laughs> I know. Number two, Virginia. I think Virginia is great. I know you family mains. Relax. <laughs> I see you in the comments. I love a few things about her. One, her they made her powerful. Like at least it's not Danny overpowered though. It's not. No. It's. I don't think she's broken by any means. But I think she's her skills. They loaded her up. I mean, she's got. Fast hand, she has extra drip, she has a bunch of unique skills, awesome. Her ability, the boon, I think it's fun to use. I think it's unique, and I think it adds just a different like layer of gameplay, like a different way that you can uh, mess with the family, you know? Yeah, and I'll, I'll say this too. If you're enjoying fast hands, be aware, that's probably going to get nerfed. Because I was watching the old community, the check-in with Matt and Wes, mm -hmm. and they basically said, hey, if everyone's running something, like a perk like fast hands, be sure we know that and we're looking into making a little adjustment to it. The one thing with Virginia, though, she has the most depressing voice lines ever. You look like Dude, you're trying it... to find someone to do. <laughs> Dude, Virginia's lines right. are depressing. Oh, All right, I gotta... boy, he just... <laughs> There's depressing Virginia again. <laughs> First, she's talking about her son. I'm going to find you. I'm like, that's just sad. Like this poor lady, it's like, hey, that kid's not going to come back. Yeah, I don't need to hear about a dead kid every five minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not good. And then she just kind of pitiful. Like, <laughs> oh, like, help me. <laughs> it's like, bro, we all need help right now. Just chill. Like, help me. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to be a nurse. Like, come on, have have some backbone here. Need some composure. Number one, got to be the best part of the update. It's the mill. Yeah, dude, a really cool map. I actually like the basement a lot, too. Yeah, the basement, what I love about the basement is it's unique. The other maps, the basements tend to blend together. Like, it's hard to differentiate, like, rooms you're in. They all kind of look similar. But this map, there's whole areas to the basement that are just unique. Totally different. And it's large, yeah. It's super large. There's a ton of exits. Even getting out of the basement, you got that three-story mill. The mill. It's just like there's so many different spaces you can go. You can go up to the second level of the mill, then traverse over to that, what, machine shop or tool storage, whatever that is. That yeah. is. Then exit that way or take the stairs down from the mill or drop from that uh, little uh, well from the top. Or there's like, like that dam area, that lower canal-ish spot. That's a good retreat area. But overall, like the map looks great. I think it's really fun to play. Like I'm... I'm dying to play it. Yeah, we get irritated every time we don't get the mill. Or when we get the mill and our lobby dies. Kind of brings us to the three worst aspects of the update. So coming in number three, no family member. The thing that it did, it makes people, like, there's no incentive for people to play family without a new family member. You know, obviously most people are going to want to play victim. Yeah, it is just a bummer for people who like to play family because those are the people, honestly, that we should care about most because there's less of them. It almost should have been reversed. Like, hey, work on that family member first, then get that done. Then if there's time, do the victim, right? Any incentive to get people to play family more to make it more fun for them, I'm, I'm all for. Yep, I'm with you there. Number two. Bugs and glitches. Now, the fact that they released a new character that's a paid character and the skill tree is bugged and the cosmetics are bugged, I have a hard time defending that. Yeah, and it's there's no quick patch that has gone out. We're not In fact, it's a very slow patch. I think it's totally absurd that they released a bugged character. All right, so that's Virginia's bug issues, but that's not the only issues. The glitches, these I feel more like you're kind of do about Virginia, I guess, where I'm like, these are just kind of annoying, but not like game breaking. Uh, Leatherface not being able to door slam him, annoying. Danny can't tamper, and I believe it's just the valve, right? That's what I've heard, yeah. So that's just annoying because uh, that's actually like the one thing he needs to tamper. Yeah, they, I mean, so. there's going to be little glitches. Like I said, th these all aren't like huge deals to me. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is the number one. Top spot, worst part of the whole entire update, and it's just a go growing trend with this game, is the lobbies. <laughs> Normally, we try to stay pretty positive about it, but dude, the lobbies at this point are broken. Dude, I mean, the, the day the game came out, I thought, okay, I understand the lobby's going to be tough. We don't have a new killer, only a new victim. Everyone's going to want to play victim. But dude, it, even yesterday, it still was really bad. It was insane. I mean, here's just an example, and I know you guys have experienced this, but Gun, if you're listening, this is exactly, there's no exaggeration here. We finally got on as victims on the mill. And I don't actually think that was the mill map. Family, all leave. Boom. We sit, we wait, what, another few minutes. New family comes in. Then they all start trickling out. It's like Gone. one by one. 
Ah, one by one. So now we've gone through two squads of family, totally gone. Now another squad comes in and guess what? What? We get a lobby. <laughs> we go into the game. No more than 20 seconds into this game, that whole entire squad DCs game over. But that's real. Like that happened. Oh, dude. Yeah, that was the worst we got in and they all DC'd because two of them were in a squad. And then I think what happened is the first killer left and then the squad's like, well, forget it. We're done too. Right. Which brings us to the biggest problem. It's people leaving, being able to just leave matches. At this point, dude, they got to do something before. I don't care about any of these updates anymore. I don't even care. I don't need new characters. Don't even work on new characters. Don't give us new maps. Nothing. Maybe work a little. Maybe a little. <laughs> Spend your time and fix these lobbies. No, I'm 100% with you. Lobbies are going to kill the game. I really just believe that. Because even for us, we love the game. And how frustrated. We went, it went from like a fun night. We were getting lobbies in pretty quick. It was really good for the first like three games. And then the last like six, it was just a grind. By the end of it, I'm like, dude, forget it. I just want to go to sleep. Oh, my gosh. I knew it. I freaking knew it. There we go. They're gone. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we totally stopped playing because it's like, dude, it's it was like midnight at that point. Well, and it's like, are we going to sit here for another hour to get what? One, maybe two games. I know it just totally, honestly, it totally kills your momentum. And like I said, the biggest thing with that is like, yes, we will sit through some lobbies and do this. The majority of people will not. No. So it's like you have this awesome update. I think the update's great, but you, the lobbies are such a problem that it kills everything. Yeah, and, and so I went back through the past community stream, and I was listening to them talk about the lobby issue, and this was a few months ago, right? Uh-huh. And here's the, and they mentioned it. They said there's two problems, and we all are aware of this. Problem one, people leave the lobbies. They're dodging. Problem two, they're not filling correctly, right? Right. So to me, it's like, okay, you can't, the, the back filling is a problem. I don't think they know how to fix. Yeah. We can fix people leaving the lobby by penalizing them. And I know they said they don't want to do that. They want to incentivize them instead. To stay, not gonna work, dude. It, and and it's just too late. It's like look, we just need to penalize everyone. Give them a three second or three second. Yeah, that's a great penalty. <laughs> Give them a three minute penalty off the rip. If you leave, you gotta wait three minutes. Then you know keep adding on to that as they keep doing it. At this point, you have to fix the lobbies. If you don't have any other ideas, you gotta go with penalties. And I, the incentive sounds great. I'm gonna be like, it sounds awesome. Like oh, you can incentivize people to stay in. It's not gonna work. It's just there. What are you going to incentivize? Well, that's a good point is they, they haven't figured out a way yet to even make that incentivize strategy work. Since it started, we started playing this game. The DCing and leaving has just gotten worse and worse. It's just like something that more people are starting to do. And as you get in lobbies and even for us, like when we've waited five, six minutes in a lobby, then we guess what? We're going to leave too. Dude, like, you're, you're right. It's become like a cancer where at first just some people leave now. It's just like, nah, especially with the new map. If you're not playing the mill, some people are like, nope, see ya. And well, now some killers will leave depending on the victims. It's like, guys, we've all gotten out of control here. Oh, I say dude, we. I'm it's not a pandemic. It. it is a <laughs> pandemic. Matt said it in the community check and he's like, we're very against the idea of penalties. We've said that plenty of times, but there comes a certain point where it's either folks stop leaving lobbies or we have to start motivating them not to. After our gameplay the other day, I'm like, I'm over it. You got to penalize these people. Okay, here's a couple. One, have you got to have a dedicated playlist or something that I mean, if you're looking at just to minimize the people leaving lobbies, dude, we're too far past this. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, dude, it, last night was like too much for me. I'm like, dude, OK, I was already hard on the uh, penalized. Now I'm like, dude, it just has to happen. And then down the road, if you can figure out a better solution, sure, go ahead. I don't even know what's going on and why people leave, but it's insane. I got to throw in an honorable mention to the worst parts of the update. The fact that they don't have a buzzsaw execution in a mill map that is made to process wood with saws that you can't have a gallows kill with Leatherface to take them to a table like that. That's a big miss. Overall, what would you rate this? Let's go zero to 10 scale. Oh, I would say the update. Oh man, I'd say like a seven. I love the map. I love Virginia. I, think I have a lot of fun playing the game. I mean, lobbies to me are just the thing that kills it. I'm going to give it a 5.5. And that is even higher than I want to. And it's only because I do, I do agree. I like the map, like Virginia. I think they did a really good job with that. But the fact they released a character with that was bugged in the skill tree is unacceptable. Uh, the lobbies are unacceptable. Like having those two that are, it destroys the fun of even 
It's hard to even play the update. Gun, you guys can fix it. The ball is in uh, your court. Anyways, that's enough of that. It's time for us to move on to what you guys can expect in this next patch, because obviously we just told you they got a lot to patch. And if you didn't for haven't forgotten, there was a promise of a 90 day content update and we are coming very near the end. Guns come out and they've released a little, it's a patch note, pre patch note. <laughs> so they wanted to let you know that they're working on this, right? Because let's be honest, that came out and I was expecting like a next day patch. It's not happening at all. You know what's funny? I noticed on Twitter, it went pretty silent. It's been pretty quiet on the TCM front for a few days. <laughs> Dude, I mean, yeah, the it's because they know that people are upset and they rightfully so on this one. So they came out and let us know that they are working on a patch and what this patch is going to address, the skill tree and cosmetics of Virginia. So again, this this needed to be honestly like next day type thing even a few days, but we're gone past that now. So they're going to be coming out with it. It's coming. We just have to wait. And what we're going to talk about in a second, I think there's going to be more stuff than just these fixes in that patch. Right. So what I found interesting in this uh, little article they put out is they kind of gave some reasons on why there is a delay. As much as I love, I don't really love it, but we all tend to do it where you jump on the bandwagon of this needed to be out. You know, it's their responsibility. Well, it's, it's easy. unacceptable. It's easy to be negative. Right. And it's kind of fun sometimes. <laughs> When you're passionate about a game, it'll happen. Yeah, yeah. So the reasons for the delay, which we can understand, they we we announced or they announced a little while back they transitioned from Sumo Sumo Nottingham to the Black Tower Studios. So with that, they talked about stuff that they have to address, right? The bug fixes, investigations, QA testing. Obviously, that got missed. Uh, cooking a build, whatever that means. Maybe making up, I guess, meta. I don't even know what cooking a build is. No. Uploading a build, lots of time. So they're kind of saying basically all the work that goes into the game. And they did mention that build thing that it takes way more time than you expect. And I'm sure a lot of this stuff does. They're not as easy as we think to fix. I mean, just the fact that they're switching development teams seems like a big deal that's going to take a lot of time. Right. And so, then on top of that, they're releasing new content and that coupled with each other. It makes sense why this has happened in a bad way. It makes sense and I can understand that and I get it. Like it's a justification for why it takes so long. Most fans don't care. No. That's the problem. Like sitting here, yeah, I totally understand. And I just want the game to be better. That's all. That's where I come from with it. I love the game. I just want more people to love it and to play it. Most fans are gonna get on, and if they're gonna have a lot of these issues, they're not gonna sit around and give them the time to explain. You know what I mean? You're just gonna lose some of the fan base. Right, right. So, I mean, to me, like I, I've talked to you about with the development thing, and I've listened to them talk about it a lot. And it just, what I do like about them is they do go into like crazy detail when developing these new characters. And that's why it takes so long. They're like, they're figuring out their backstory, how their backstory plays into their ability, what kind of music they listen to, like there's this special skills that they have, which again, plays into the, who the character is as a person, maybe too much detail guys. I mean, we don't need the music, you know, yeah. but I do appreciate like that. They do care about this. And like Wes has said, he's not going to put anything out. That's like vanilla, it, you know, and then you see that with these characters, they are very well built out with the lore and their abilities. Like they do a really good job. It's mm -hmm. just the development process itself just takes too freaking long. Yeah. Either way, we're going to be getting a patch. It's coming soon. I believe it's on the 16th is when we're going to see the patch. Now, that's one aspect, but there's a whole another thing of uh, the 90 day content drop. Okay, so they said they had that stream where Matt and Wes went over what was coming in the next 90 days. So they said there's a bunch of content within this 90 day window, right? Right. So that window is coming up. And if you don't know, so that new patch is on the 16th. The 90 day window ends on the 17th. So all the stuff they promised within that 90 days, I'm expecting, and because they haven't said otherwise, would be with you know, in that patch. That seems like a lot, but I'm going to be honest. I don't remember what was in the 90 days. So hopefully we'll go to Darren. So we're going to go down everything they've promised, what they've delivered so far and what they haven't. So then we know what to expect and also future things they said that are going to come to the game, not in the 90 days, but in the future. Yeah. So this is the big picture of what to expect in the somewhat near future. Right. And then I'll give a rundown at the end. So uh, first multiple execution packs. So far, we've got one, uh, which I didn't even, I don't even think I bought. I don't, you know, honestly, I'm not like so into execution packs. It's cool, but I'm not like that into it. Yeah. Weapon skins. They delivered. We already got weapon skins. We got weapon skins. Uh, they're okay. 
And I think I've I've had to adjust my expectations because I think I was a little whacked coming into here because I do like that they keep it like traditional and like specific to the lore in the movie. I'm going to be honest, I want to, I still want a golden chainsaw, but I mean, we don't need like the iridescent skin on a weapon. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I have to adjust my expectations, but uh, we, yeah, we could use a little bit more of weapon skins. And I would say we, I think it's fair to say probably a little, just a little bit more flavor to the skins. Yeah. Just a little. Just and a so sprinkle it on. So that. you're saying though, that this has already been what they promised. They already delivered the weapon. Skins. Yeah. That's okay. already there. They didn't say multiple. Okay. I heard just weapon skins. We already got it. So cosmetics so far. They've released Danny cosmetics, right? And I guess you could lump Virginia, but they don't get credit because you can't even change her skin right now. No, and I'll go into it. So, the, you know, we all know our bullies now developing the cosmetics with a uh, gun, right? Right. So they said all new outfits for everyone in the game. Uh, so shout out to Marcus and the team at, at Art Bully. Uh, but they've, they've come in full force and have been uh, helping us create uh, all new outfits for everyone in the game new new goodies for for both sides again in the next 90 days or less it better not be the same shirt in five different colors that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> no so they so they did promise all new outfits for, outfits for everyone and so far we only have danny and virginia ish right right so that i would expect would be coming in this patch as well um i'm starting to get nervous because as we're, we're i know what's coming up and there is going to be a lot of stuff and i can't imagine all this is going to be there <laughs> especially with the way this update dropped right right so new map, we got a new map. They did a good job, like the map Ding. approved. All right, here's a big one, because I feel like this is probably a lot that goes into this. Museum mode, right? Mm, yes. So, so I'm going to kind of explain what they said museum mo mode was going to be. Obviously, it's not here yet. I'm expecting that should be in the patch. Museum mode lets you move around the house. It has puzzles. It's basically like an interactive behind the scenes. Okay. So you learn about like how they made the game, uh, more about the lore. Just all sorts of stuff like that. And also you can like take pictures in the game, so which would be awesome for like screenshots and stuff. Yeah, I'll do that. And it's in the family house, apparently. So you're walking around exploring the family house, which does seem pretty cool. And like doing puzzles. Yeah, I, again, it's one of those things, cool, but I'd like other stuff. But yes, and, I, I would like it in the game too. And it's free, but you're right. If you're going to spend development time, just chill on that, hit the lobbies. Yeah, it's <laughs> cool if you say we didn't have time for it. We would understand that at this point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They promised a new victim, a new killer. We got the victim. Mm. Have not got the killer yet. I don't think we're going to. I really don't think the family member is going to be ready. Hey, they said within 90 days they haven't changed that yet. So I would expect the new killer. I'm expecting it in the patch. I would hope so. It would be awesome if they could. I'm going to keep my expectations low on that. Bride Sissy, delivered. Okay, we got Bride Sissy. Cool. Shirtless Johnny, delivered and approved. Yep, we like the shirtless Johnny. Dude's a tank. Real. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that summarizes what we've gotten so far, what we're supposed to get within that 90 days. But my question would be, what can we look forward to past those 90 days and probably like towards the end of this year, like within that time frame? And I have the answer for you. And <laughs> I definitely have one. There's one thing that it bothers me the most that's not in this game. To me, the biggest thing that they need to change and it should have been done already is that level, the 99 cap. And that was mentioned and they're working on it, but there was never a time frame, frame given to that because I think why it's taken so long, they said they want to do it, but they're trying to work in like uh, upgrades. So when you, as you level up, you get things, right? Right. And that's what I assumed they're working on. But to me, it's like, cool, do that. But how about instead, in the meantime, just level it up like 150 be the max level. The problem is if you do that and you let people progress, then it's like, OK, well, if they they're going to get to 150 quick. And then so the idea is whenever they implement this, like these new items you get there, those people will just automatically get it and won't have any incentive to grind again. So it's like you're just, again, creating another problem. <laughs> it's kind of like letting everyone catch up to the guys who grinded, because I'm going to be honest, it's freaking hard to level up, especially when it's tr you have trouble getting in lobbies. It takes forever. Like I've been in the 70s forever. Yeah. So it is nice to have that time to catch up. But the guys, the hardcore players who are the most dedicated players are the ones that are kind of penalized right now. Yeah, but I'm totally cool with waiting on it. If they can, as long as they're going to build in this system where you get things as you level up, 
Because that's going to be awesome. Well, yeah, but this is like our theory on it. Oh, no, that's what they said. Oh, did they? Yeah, they said that they're, as you level up, they want you to, uh, what's a good way to well, say yeah, that? Well, yeah, they said they want you to, but they didn't say they were for sure doing that. It was very much implied that that's what they're doing with it. All right, so here's what we have, uh, what they have confirmed that they're working on for the future. We don't have a date on when this is coming, but all things that they're working on. All right, hit it. New exit. We know Wes mentioned they're working on a new exit. So will future maps have different escape methods, like something different than lock gates, fuse, and valve? Short answer, yes. Boom. He was very, very quick with that answer, but that is something they're looking into. See, I thought this map, I thought that dam was going to be a new exit. Bro, we had so many great ideas. So many. <laughs> but there, a lot of them were wrong. <laughs> to me, the biggest disappointment with the map was that there was, wasn't a new way to exit. So another thing that they're for sure working on is sunny a sunny buff. And they talked about Sissy, but they did not confirm they're working on that. But Sunny for sure they're working on. And they said specifically like his skills. I think they're trying to change those around. Yeah, or you mean like the actual skills or his attribute points? His attribute points. Yeah, he's kind of underwhelming there but i mean honestly sunny's pretty powerful if you play him right some tweaks to the noise they're gonna try to make it not so loud they're trying to change the duration of the noise so it doesn't follow you around as long as a victim hmm. interesting family mains will hate that but i personally kind of like it but they are you know you know how they talk they're making small tweaks they're not going to make a huge change at once and i think they've done a pretty good job at that okay so they're also working on nerfing the scout perk because again like i said earlier Anytime someone's using something a lot, they're going to look into making some adjustments to that. So if you don't know, the scouts for the family members, it keeps their endurance up. They can run longer, maybe even faster. I don't know. But the thing about it is they have a lot of slow family, like Cook, Nancy definitely need like scout. Like it doesn't hurt to have them be able to run. A, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I see both sides. I play both sides. I wouldn't even say I'm a family main or victim. I kind of go both. I don't know if I want them to touch scout. Who all gets Scout? Does everyone have it? I don't know the answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because that it depends. You're right. Like for a Nancy and a Cook, like, dude, you got to have Scout. Yeah. I mean, I don't think they should even touch it for them. But if other killers have it as well, like, I don't even know. I feel like Johnny might have it. That you can play around with. Uh, I know. I'm thinking, too. I'm like, the one guy... Sorry, Sarah Myers. I yeah. know she's the Johnny main out there. <laughs> Shout soon, out to Sarah Myers. As soon as I said that, I'm like, she's not going to like this. Yeah, <laughs> That's the one character I don't want Scout on, but that's only because I'm terrified of Johnny. Dude, he's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> do they still even need to nerf him? You know that lunge? I don't know if they do. I used to say they should, but like now I kind of like having him powerful. Like It's fun to be afraid of a character. I like the killers. Yeah, it's scary. I don't know if they need to touch that. Let us know in the comments. Battle Pass. They talked about bringing a Battle Pass to the game. Well, not really. They talked about not doing that because they don't want a Battle Pass. They said it wouldn't, kind of, it wouldn't fit in with their game the way it is. But they did talk about in-game currency. Yeah, so something, yeah, something where you could purchase skins or different things and then you wouldn't have to pay for them. Uh, give, again, this all comes to like giving your most dedicated players a reason to keep playing. It's not even that it's like giving anyone a reason to keep playing. I guess once you level up and you get all your skill points, then that's, yeah, I guess you're kind of right. That's when the problem comes in. Like, what's the point? Yeah. You just need like, I'll play no matter what, but just giving other people more casual player. I mean, we're pretty casual, but like players that aren't as into the game as we are. I mean, we have a freaking podcast on it, you know, that's true. I mean, it's on everything, but it's, Pretty heavy on TCM. Yeah. So, I mean, just giving people the ability like, hey, I will grind this out. Oh, look, I get a reward, so many tokens or whatever you want to call it. I can just tell you, they want people to play the game more. I would play this game a lot more if I was grinding for items, right? Like if I knew, oh man, I can, you know, if I get so many more XP, I'm going to hit hit this check mark and then check mark, hit this checkpoint and get an item. I would do it. I'd be playing a lot more. And I think a lot of people would. And they're aware, so they are working on that. Again, there's no timeline as to when. And the final thing, stealth. They are still looking into how to make the game more stealthy, maybe slow down that rush meta. We'll see. I, like I said, I'd like to have something with the victim's voices, like being able to do something on the victim side so you don't make as much like talking noise, like a loud mouth attribute or something. <laughs> but all of this, having said all this, all of it sounds great. Like the having a skill point or some type of token system sounds great. Extra cosmetics, the uh, new killer family, all that. But the one thing they have to address is the lobby. You got to fix this lobby problem. 
See, they're aware. I just think the simple solution is just penalize those guys and uh, let's move on. Yeah, <laughs> let us know in the comments. Maybe you guys have some other great ideas. Maybe you don't like the lobby penalty. Maybe you do. Leave a comment because I kind of want to, maybe I'll even do a post to kind of see, fill out the uh, community. Yeah, and, and one last thing. I mean, I don't want to have to penalize people, but people have forced us into this situation. Like I'm part of the team. People have forced <laughs> us into this situation. If there was an easier solution, absolutely. But I don't think there is. I think the lobby penalization is the easiest to implement and put in like now. Yeah. Again, this isn't like happening once in a while. This happens all the time. Right. So we got to find a way to get it fixed. Overall, a lot to look forward to. I think they're going to get a handle on this stuff. I think we're just in a section where it's just not looking great at the moment <laughs> just because with the new release, bugs, all that stuff. Game's still a blast to play if you can get into it. No, absolutely. I love the game. It hasn't changed at all. It just, you know, I'm a little still angry from last night because it yeah, was late. I I'm mad. I don't have time to play that much. And when I can't get a lobby, I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> and we like and we do content. So you got to add that in there, too. Like we kind of need to get some games in. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I'm going to hit some editor uh, hunting grounds. <laughs> I'm going to hit some predator hunting grounds. And uh, next podcast, I'll let you know what I see so far there. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, and thanks to all our members. Here you are. Thank you. You and you. Yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> and all of you. <laughs> yes. And again, if you are a member, you're doing yourself a disservice. Join the Discord. Then we can get some custom games. Absolutely. So thank you guys all. It's appreciated. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.